how's it going? So, um, we, I'm here with Vicky, who is, in fact, what do you like being called, Vicky? Vicky. What's your role? What, what, what are you? <laughs> I don't know. She doesn't know. <laughs> she is the every, every job person. Yeah, deg. The what? Do, do everything, everything girl. girl. She's the deg. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, Deg and I are going to Bulgaria. I'm one of the guest speakers at the Infinite Man Summit in Bulgaria. Um, I really have no idea what to expect. I've never gone to an all-man event only thing before. So yeah, I'm gonna be talking about trading, investing, money, stuff like that. Um, we're currently at, where are we, Birchanger? The, well, the, no, the Bishop Stortford Services, the one next to Stanford. Um, and literally, if you can look around, the queue is has been like this, like pretty much standstill from the point where we entered. Um, so I'm getting slightly concerned about the time. Um, we're literally only four minutes away, technically. But yeah, so that's about it, really. I guess I'll see you in Bulgaria. And the joy of travelling and waiting begins. And Vicky trying to avoid the, the camera. <laughs> you can't avoid it all for the whole trip. in Sofia, Bulgaria. Um, it's a nice hotel actually, and uh, actually quite cheap for what it is. Um, there's a lot of kids walking around. There's, um, there's a prom going on here, and there's a lot of weird dresses. Um, I shouldn't say that too loud, it's probably like a tradition type thing. But yeah, lots of girls in weird dresses and blokes that look way too young. Um, but yeah. Looks like I'm dou double stacking again. I've got my, my mandatory girly drink, which I always have. Um, and uh, an old fashioned, which is quite nice. And Vicky's got her penis colada. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so tomorrow we're, we're, yeah, we're, I'm on before lunch tomorrow, but um, it's interesting. When we landed, um, unfortunately Ryanair was the only way to get out of here. Uh, pretty much and everyone started applauding like when we landed I was like what the seriously it's like everyone was so worried that Brian is so shit that we'd struggle to land but it, it made me think about relationships and I have a thing called the thank bank thank bank and basically everyone that you meet online or offline you set up a, a relationship equity account of some sort um, Food's coming, it's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, so you set up a relationship equity account, and like any account, like a bank account or a credit card, you need to stay in the black, not the red. And this is especially prevalent if or important if you're in business, because if you're in business and you're and you have, you know, you want customers obviously, um, it's very hard to go meet someone and go and turn them straight into a customer. So first of all you need to turn identify prospects, etc. Then you have um, leads, then hot leads, and then hot leads turn, in, turn into customers, etc. And the way to basically warm a, pros a prospect up, so to speak, is to, to give value. Now, I, I feel like a broken record because I'm always saying um, money is a byproduct of value, so you need to always deliver value. And what you're doing when you're delivering value is you're putting money or you're, you're, you're raising your, the, the credit in your thank bank with that particular person. And so when you're asking for an email, a name and email address, if it's, you know, data capture or, or even the bank details, you know, to actually buy your shit, so to speak, um, you're withdrawing a huge amount from that bank bank. So whatever you do, you, you just need to make sure that, yeah, you're, you're in credit in your thank bank before you ask anything of anyone. So uh, one thing I always try and make sure is that I'm always in the glass with everyone that I am. Um, well, it's hard to do that with everyone you meet, but at least everyone that I know, I, that I consider a friend, etc. So um, if 
you know me, or in fact, yeah, if you know me and I'm not in the blank, blank, in, in the bloody girly jinx, uh, I'm not in the black with our uh, thank bank, um, let me know, please, just email admin at therealistictrader.com and say, Siam, you're in the red with me, and I will make sure to put it, to put it correct. I don't like being in the red. So, uh, yeah, um, got my pulled pork burger and chips coming soon, so see you tomorrow. I was supposed to do this before earlier on, but I was going to say here we are at the World Trade Center um, in Bulgaria. And um, yeah, it was an Infinite Man Summit. Um, loads of stuff about relationships, health and wealth and all, all sorts of stuff. So it's cool. Um, it's a smallish audience. There's about 100, 120 odd people here, but it's really cool. Um, as you can see, I've had an absolute nightmare with my lunch. Um, so thankfully I did that after my uh, <laughs> after my uh, s speaking slot and uh, yeah we had a nice panel, big Q and A, and uh, we're about to go and have dinner and drink and do lots of sort of stuff. Um, but it's really interesting. So we've got a in fact we'll do that in the car. Our taxi's here. So yeah we're in the cab now. There's some really interesting things I um, I noticed today. Um, and one of them was against social awareness. Now, it's it's just crazy. Like, a lot of social awareness is common sense, right? And, or well, common sense isn't that common these days. And, like, especially, I meet so many people who say, oh yeah, I'm really socially aware, or I'm an NLP practitioner, or whatever. Yet, their social awareness skills are just completely lacking. So, for example, today I've met a whole plethora of people I mean, it's just the basics, like, people, we have our own personal zone, so I've had people stand, like, right in, in my personal zone, and I'm like, okay, just trying to move backwards, and then they'll sort of follow me. It's just awkward, that's, that's them being socially unaware of that stuff. Um, I mean, hogging conversations, you know, someone doing 99% of the talking, and some guy, like, someone with really bad coffee breath, etc. Like, I mean, these are basics. Uh, I mean, at least be aware of you and your presence and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, I don't know how to improve that sort of stuff, but just try and be aware of, you know, what's the other person thinking, feeling, etc. Um, and the other thing was, uh, because I was on a panel like, for a big, it was a really long Q&A. How long was that for, Vicky? Like, Hours. Two or three oh, yeah. hours. I just I drank like two bottles of water and like I was bursting for a week. Anyway, um, afterwards I got a like a whole bunch of questions um, and loads of like pictures, like people wanting me to invest in their business, etc. Um, and I, I saw two common mistakes that most people seeking investment make. So the first one is like, hey, this is my new widget app business, blah, blah, blah. The global market for this industry is 89 trillion, billion, quadrillion dollars, or whatever it may, may be. And they're like, all we need is just 1% of that market to, to you know, be a multi-billion dollar company, etc. So that's the first folly there. Never say, you know, we just need 1% of the thing. So, because, and the reason being is that people don't realize how hard it is to reach 1% of a particular market. Um, Point. So, I don't know, let's say 1% of etc is, I don't know, getting 10 million customers. Well, do you know how expensive it is to acquire a customer? Um, hell, get, even get a 10 million leads, that's going to be expensive. And so, um, like for example, I, I, obviously I don't know the price point, but even if your, your product is like £30, you're going to expect to pay at least £20 for your customer acquisition, so your CPA, your cost per acquisition. So if you, if you want 10 million customers, it's going to cost you um, like 20 quid per customer. So that's one thing. Um, and it just shows a lack of sort of understanding about how to actually get customers to, to, to build the business. And the next one was um, 
like obviously I was shown like a, a really fancy business plan. So obviously they, they put a lot of time and effort into this business plan. Um, but it was so unrealistic. Like th this guy was asking for 50,000 pounds and he was basically saying, um, yeah, in, in the first year we'll have a two million pound loss. And I was like, okay, <laughs> that's quite realistic. But the second year is gonna make 10 million pounds profit. And then I think by year four is making 900 and something 50 million, no, billion pounds, uh, dollars. I was like, so you're expecting to make just under a trillion dollars within four years. Apple doesn't even do that. Um, so, yeah, and he was like, yeah, these are conservative figures. And I'm like, Ugh. and I really don't know what to do because I don't like being rude and um, and I didn't want to piss all over his bonfire. But yeah, it's, it's hard, so. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I need to go and get another shirt and uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so off to dinner or for this VIP dinner thing. Again, it's more Q&A, um, etc. And I was thinking back to what I was talking about this morning where I was talking about the Thank Bank and how you need to be in credit all, all of the time. And it also goes back to business as well. So, or especially business, especially when it comes to referrals. So for example, um, there's a guy called Justin Fordham. He's based in Norfolk. He is literally the best mortgage advisor you could ever ask for. He is the most honest person out there. I um, and I, I highly recommend him. I, I have no kickbacks for him at all, like from him or, or affiliate links. He's just a really shit hot guy who's really genuine. And um, like, I, I I send as many people as I can to him, and um, and he'll give it honest advice. He'll say if he can't help, etc. And um, he's really cool because like you send people his, his way, you know he looks after everyone I send his way. He always says thank you, blah, 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 I just spoke with him. And so straight away I know that he's chatting with them, he's looking after them and I can feel safe in sending more people his way because I know he'll look after them. And uh, the other day, um, like he, he sent me this huge chocolate pizza which didn't last long in the kid household. And um, it was basically a thank you for a referral I referred a year before, who he couldn't help, but then he could, etc. And um, so he makes it really easy to basically send things his way. Now, on the flip side, I <clears throat> there's a, a company which you know I, I've actually I've been actively helping for many years now, and I've sent some pretty freaking big clients their way um, to the tune that like my referrals have been paying them between 10 to 20,000 pounds per month on total. So I've sent a lot of revenue their way and um, over the last few years and I haven't even received a thank you. Not one thank you. Now I'm not in this for, you know, kickbacks or, you know, or chocolate or anything. I do like chocolate though. Um, but at the very least, a thank you. Um, and so it's really, it's quite annoyed me really because um, there's been a few instances where I've, I've sent referrals over to this company, you know, to say, hey, that this company can help you, etc. And then I've been let down by that company because they did really shoddy, like, basic human interactions and communication, um, which, which doesn't look good on me as the referrer, so to speak. Um, and there was another time I've recently found out there's, there's been two of my referrals that have signed up with them and they're paying them money etc and i didn't even get a, a thank like one a thank you from that company saying hey, thanks they're now we're now looking after them etc um and then i met up with one of my referrers ref the people i've referred over i get confused um and they're like oh yeah i'm, I'm using this company now uh, thanks blah 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 and I was like, oh, interesting. So I, I spoke to that company. I said, oh, how's that company doing that you're, you know, you're now working with? And they're like, um, no, we're not working with them. I was like, so I don't know whether it's just incompetence or whether they're hiding the fact that they're, they're signing up with my friends. But I don't know. It just makes it really hard. So I can't. I now I, I won't send people their way. So it all goes back to again the thank bank and just being. I mean, general communications is good. So. Like what I was saying this morning, if I'm in the red, in the thank bank with any of you watching this right now, please let me know, because I want to put things right. I don't like being in the red, so. Right, I need a cocktail. <laughs> I'll see you soon, bye.